Here are six simple 3D printing tips for new users. I'm joined by my two new hosts, Eric and Wyatt. Hello. Welcome to the channel, guys. So Eric and Wyatt are brand new to the channel, so be sure to stay tuned to the end to learn more about them. And as we've been discussing, these are definitely some of the top tips that we all agree on. Our first tip for you today is to gain a new superpower. And what I mean by that is to learn to 3D model. Now for a lot of people this feels super intimidating and I know because that was me for years. I've been 3D printing for a long time and I went years and years without really learning how to 3D model and just kind of tinkering with it a little bit. I used Google SketchUp, a little bit of Tinkercad, but I couldn't really do what I wanted to do with 3D modeling. And I'll tell you, once I learned, or started to learn really, because I'm still learning, how to do some real 3D modeling to get what I want, from my 3D printer, it is truly a superpower. And now I feel like everything I see in the world, I can manipulate, I can take what's in my head and actually put it on the computer, design it, print it out, and have it in my hands. Here's a great example. This is a silly little device that I came up with years ago. This is a smart door stopper, door closer. And so I made this, and you can see it's super high quality, right? I've got zip ties, some hot glue, and a little block of wood really nice. Now I'm joking because it's pretty crappy, but it works and it did the job. Close the door. When I do that, the door closes and I don't have to get my lazy self out of bed. So very convenient for lazy people like myself. And then as soon as I started to learn how to 3D model, I was like, I can do better. So I hopped into Fusion 360, which is the software that I've been learning. And I came up with this Man, that is a night and day difference. This thing actually looks good. My wife doesn't mind having it in our room and it's just a whole different world when you feel like you can really do anything you want to. Close the door. Now imagine taking all of the stuff that's out there on Thingiverse and Things and all of these different sites where you can download stuff and saying, hmm, I like that, I wanna manipulate this. I wanna make it my own or do my own version of it. That's what 3D modeling enables you to do. It is seriously one of the coolest advancements in my personal life as far as 3D printing goes that I've ever done. So I'd highly encourage you to take the time, it's not as hard as you might think, and see if you can get some 3D modeling under your belt and open up that whole new world. So our next tip is going to come from me, the new guy to 3D printing, having just been doing this for about a year or so. One of the things that I really found was that the fun things, the things that interested me, were the things that kept me going in 3D printing. As you've already learned, there's so much that we can do to dial in and get those perfect prints and do all of that. That takes time. Have fun. Look online. You'll find plenty of prints that you can enjoy. Little toys, little tchotchke things, just anything you can do, things that will make you smile, your kids, your family, whoever it is, and you will enjoy it. And as you do that, you learn more, and then you'll eventually be able to find those prints that you can do that just really kind of help you around the house. I know with me, I, um, I created this little thing that went over the, the shower door and my wife could hang her razor on that and a towel on the other side. And it was just so exciting to see her smile when she was able to use that. So you'll find those things as they come, but first and foremost, have fun with it, print anything, print everything and enjoy it. Our next tip is to employ the design of experiments or DOE approach. In general, if you're not familiar with this methodology, this just means changing one variable at a time and observing the results along the way. As an engineer, I use this to adjust designs and processes to get the best results possible. In 3D printing, you can use this to print a small section of a model that may be giving you an issue, or a dedicated test print and adjusting a variable in between each iteration. The variables you may change include your print speed, or your extrusion temperature, or perhaps even your flow rate. 3D printing has a lot of variables that you can change, and monitoring the results along the way will help you learn and grow as you further your experience. Going through this methodology helps you identify what is and is not affecting your prints, and perhaps more importantly, it helps you identify how the variables interact to continually improve your overall experience. Our next tip is to optimize your efficiency through your settings. When you're doing 3D printing, it takes a long time. There's a lot that goes into it and there's a lot of waiting involved. So what you can do is make some minor adjustments, particularly to the speed that you print things at, to make sure that it's printing as quickly as your machine can handle. If your printer, for example, is rated for up to 100 millimeters per second, see how fast you can actually get that to work and still have a good looking print. 
A lot of times we don't need things to be absolutely perfect for certain prints. We just need something to be successful and do what it needs to do. But we can do that faster and faster by increasing that speed and watching our infills and different settings like that. So look for ways to optimize that for the most efficient print that you can do, making the most of your time. Another tip for me as a relative newcomer to the 3D printing world is making sure that your printer is mechanically sound. And what I mean by that are some little things that you can do, like leveling your bed. Taking that little piece of paper and going around, for me, was one of the most infuriating things that I did as a beginner when I first got started. I just felt like I just was constantly doing this. But what I found was I was doing it wrong or I was just forgetting where I needed to go with it. So make sure you follow the recommendations from your manufacturer. Just check it as you go all the way around. Sometimes it takes two or three times. Sometimes it takes more. But when you print, if things aren't looking right, do it again. You'll enjoy it in the long run, I promise. Along that line, grab that little hex tool that came with your printer. Check all the screws on your printer and make sure that they're all tight. If they're loose, you could get some wobble in there and it causes other problems. Check your belt tensions. All of that type of stuff goes a long way toward helping you to have great prints and to enjoy the whole experience a whole lot more. Our next tip is to explore and engage with the community. 3D printing has an ever-growing list of engineers, makers, and regular people. Not that the first two aren't regular people. Just general users that are interacting, sharing what they know, sharing what they print. It's important to, to do this and to have this level of interaction because odds are someone probably has a question that you've had or wants to see something cool that you have printed. Heck, I printed a five-headed turkey to have on our dining room table last Thanksgiving and it's one of the projects I'm most proud of. In general, this kind of community interaction of sharing makes and asking questions not only helps you succeed, but will help others succeed. We have a bonus tip for you today. You may have noticed that one of us is wearing a very nice shirt, maybe nicer than the guys sitting next to him, you know. So we're going to send Eric and Wyatt and you if you want to over to the3dprintingzone.com where you can purchase these shirts and others in all the colors and sizes that you like. While you're on the site, you can learn more about our new hosts, Eric and Wyatt. We're excited to have them join us. You'll see them in all of our new videos going forward. Thanks so much for watching today. I'm Nils. I'm Eric. And I'm Wyatt. And this is the 3D Printing Zone.